Welcome to Hector's 5 Minute Frenzy, The Ocho! The Ocho! The Ocho! The Ocho! Alright, so one of the best things I've seen this week is the fun ball from Aldi's. $20, it's pretty amazing. Ah! In this past week following the Colorado shootings, the internet's really been blown up with a lot of negative stuff, but a couple positives that I've really seen come out. Hans Zimmer, the guy who composed the score for The Dark Knight Rises, made an original song and it's available for download. You choose how much you want to pay from 10 cents up. All proceeds go to the victims of the Colorado shooting. That's amazing. Christian Bale, who in the past has pretty much been regarded as a jerk by a lot of the Hollywood community, took his money, his time, flew out to Colorado, visited the victim's family, those that were still in the hospital, the theater. He did a lot of stuff just to visit, and I find that to be a wonderful gesture on his part. Also, one of my favorite NFL players, number 89, Steve Smith from the Carolina Panthers, he gave $100,000 of his own money to the victims of the Colorado shootings. Now, I would expect a Denver Bronco to give money or to do something like that, though this is a Carolina Panther, and I really appreciate him reaching out like that, so it's nice to know in the wake of such darkness that people care. There are a lot of ways online that you can give too, so look it up. Speaking of the Carolina Panthers, number 67, Ryan Khalil, this dude is made of fortitude. He took out a front page ad in the Charlotte Observer claiming that this year the Carolina Panthers will have a Super Bowl victory. He even, it wasn't just a one statement thing, he wrote a whole paragraph saying why, giving all the reasons, and I'm convinced. So, this year, get ready. Carolina Panthers is going down. You don't believe me? Look in my eyes. It's there. You can see it. Right there. It's going to happen. Wow. That was my Panther noise. Romans 12, 15 is a very simple verse, but sometimes I really think we overlook it. It tells us, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. We really kind of disassociated ourselves from actually being with people when things happen. Rejoicing with someone is more than just clicking like on Facebook. Mourning is more than just commenting saying, I'm sorry, or a text saying, I'm sorry, and I'll pray for you. When you rejoice with someone, you're there. You're in their presence. You're in their life to the point that you can bear hug them and high five them because you're with them. When you mourn with someone, you're there to let them cry on your shoulder. You're there to hold them. You're there to listen when no one else is. We're not told to rejoice for those who rejoice. We're not told to mourn for those mourn. We're told to rejoice with them, to mourn with them. We need to actually show up in people's lives. The greatest commandment we have regarding other people is that we love them as Christ loved us, and that we love them as we love ourselves. Christ didn't just love people from a distance. He got in their life. He got with them and loved them. Don't just rejoice and mourn for people. Get in their lives. Be a part of it. Rejoice and mourn with them because that is the love of God in flesh. Be with them. Time for Don de Esta. You look at this picture, you tell me where it comes from, you win a prize. This week's prize, I will buy you a combo at KFC. Thank you for watching episode 8. I hope you will come back because it will be fierce and you will be defeated by the awesome. Do me a favor. If you're watching this, copy the link in the bar above, copy it into your Facebook status, and share it. If all the people that actually watch this would share it, this thing would really blow up. So do that for me. Copy the link address and share it on your Facebook. I really appreciate it. Special shout out to Rachel Johnson for allowing me to pummel her in the making of this video and for Harrison Brown for making me tasty beats for the background.